Greetings, everyone. I am the Black Shadow. And it's time for us to delve into the Metal Gear Solid VR missions. This is a, um, it's gonna be quite a curious little LP, this, folks. Um, a side project uh, based upon the engine of the uh, original main game. Um, VR Missions has had an uh, interesting little uh, development path and cycle. It originally came out certainly in uh, Japan and eventually did get localized um, in other regions after a, uh, a bit of a period of time. I don't, I'm not 100% knowledgeable on its exact progress and path, um, but I do know that uh, the VR Missions is a strange assortment. We'll go with that, folks. Um, the game basically uh, is, you can look at it as a, a training simulator and program um, which, you know, to teach you about how to, you know, get through various situations, practicing all the various methods of, um, of stealth and firepower across the original Metal Gear game. And whilst they do start off relatively simple, this game will get pretty damn hard and pretty insane as well as we go on. Um, I'm sure several people have seen little out clips of some strange things that they've seen in weird uh, holographic environments. Welcome to VR missions! <laughs> it's pretty much the only way I can really describe this, folks. Uh, there is a ton of missions, I forget exactly how many, uh, but I figure it in preparation for Mega Solid 2. Let's have a little bit of a play around, shall we? Now, I have to remember that circle button is confirmed, not X. Lots of things I have to get readjusted to, so. Let's delve in. So, as you can see, uh, to start off, we have four main modes to the game. Uh, sneaking, weapon, advanced and special, unfortunately, are locked at the moment. So, I suppose best thing to do is to start from the top. Uh, so, sneaking mode, uh, which has a variant of no weapons, as well as a, w a variant with the SOCOM pistol. We only have access to that at the moment. At Curiosity Weapon Mode, we have various ones here. So you've got the SOCOM, you've got C4 Explosives, Assault Rifles, Grenades, Claymores, uh, the Nikita Stinger, oh uh, no, the Nikita um, Controlled Missiles, the PSG uh, Sniper, and the things. So you can see you can delve into all sorts of varying weapons and little bits and, and nooks and crannies as far as the game is concerned. There's plenty to dive into, um, and I have no idea how long this, this LP is going to take. I don't know how far into the rabbit hole I'm going to jump, but I figure it'd be a, a little bit of fun, especially if you've never seen this before, it's quite an experience. So we're going to start off with the no weapon mode, uh, which has 15 levels to it, folks. Um, just general practice, you know, just just simply achieve the objective, take as long as you want. So, let's jump in. I love that pistol sound. Sneaky mode, no weapon, at level 1. Don't be seen by enemy soldiers and head for the goal. Training mission is aborted if you are spotted. That's pretty much a, um, for all the sneaking modes, you must not be seen. Sounds reasonable, right? Let's see how much I remember of my mechanics, folks. So, welcome to, uh, the holographic way this works. Uh, we are pitted against a variety of evil genome soldiers, although they don't technically exist. And, of course, we take the plot of Mr. David Hater himself. So all we have to do is just simply uh, don't get caught. Simple as that. We can make use of these various little ink clips here. And our target up there. You see, they start off pretty basic. Pretty easy. Lovely stuff. Impressive Spoiler alert, folks. It will get trickier. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? I have had a little bit of a delve into the sneaking mode. Folks, just uh, I did some uh, testing um, just to make sure that this was running pretty well. It looks pretty good to me. Right now, we've got hold of the Soliton radar, so we need to uh, look for a weak spot in the enemy's defensive line. Yes, clearly not taking down the bottom right path again. Most of these are pretty basic. These are basically like if you've never played the game before, um, any, of the, any of the Metal Gear games. It's a good way to start. Get used to varying little tricks and ploys and plans you can use. 
I don't know if it's ever got released with the original Metal Gear game. I was, I was under this standing. This came out afterwards. I could be wrong. Anyways, use shortcuts wisely and head for the goal. Right, so what have we got here today? Alright, so obviously... We're going to struggle to get through there. By the way, um, although you say so you can use, you basically have to use stealth here. The game won't actually allow you to like get into combat with any of the enemies because you can't actually kill them outright. Um, and just even touching them, even if you're hitting them, will alert them, and then it's game over. So we need to use um, crawling. Holy hell! Look at that back screen, folks. That's like mind boggling. It's pretty cool, but it's like. Defeated that guard. We have another guard here who, again, we're not going to be able to get past him pretty easy. We could fight him. This, the, the game won't let you do that, basically. So, come on, underneath here. Woo! I know I could easily just crack him with these and just fly through him, but you know, enjoy the experience, folks! Why the hell not? <laughs> Four. Uh, find the routes where the surveillance is lax, eh? I see. Right. So, obviously, we're, uh, we're not going that way. And it's going to be not... We could certainly take the uh, below route here, but the game telling you that you should uh, make damn good use of your radar, folks, because it is an indispensable tool to your arsenal. I know this seems like so basic. Believe me, this will spike up in difficulty pretty quick. This is just basically introducing you to how the game kind of is going to work for for good memory for the future. So, uh, no footsteps on the different coloured floor tiles and don't wake up any enemy soldiers. So you'll notice that these are uh, lit up here, folks. These are lighter. These basically act like, um, if you remember the original game, this is kind of like just general walking on concrete. These kind of act like um, walking on like metal... Um, like metal grids and railings. Can you hear that echoing sound? Yeah, so that will. Uh, oh shit! No! 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 Had to do that to make sure he uh, didn't look the other guard there. That was nearly bad. There we go. Let them go back. Let them go back to sleep there. Lovely. So we want to uh, basically come across here. We'll do whatever you want. Just. Uh, crawl across here basically don't get involved in any uh, nasty stuff stupid guards they're just looking around they're like look it's so pretty fools Impressive. lovely number six surveillance cameras um, again if you've not had any experience any Metal Gear games you need this to know what you're doing if you've played the game before you know it's fine a blind spot underneath these surveillance cameras of course we will be attempting to make full use of them here is their uh, how they look obviously a different kind of retina cone but again there's a nice easy blind spot underneath the camera itself which we can exploit very useful lovely I just know there's people watching who have never seen this and are like, how is this so hard? This is going to be like so boring. Believe me, it's worth the investment. Number seven is the infrared sensors. We must use our equipment wisely. Yes, the game's actually going to give us some invest some equipment, folks, which is nice. Mainly, Solid Snake's favorite cigarette brand. Remember, it is hazardous to health, but uh, we have no health meter, so that doesn't matter. So, we need to get past these uh, infrared sensors, but we can't actually, well, we can't see anything. So, one of the things that you can do in the original game, though I never really, I don't think I showed it off too much, but cigarettes can be used. Ooh, and they will actually light up um, the infrared, which is pretty sweet. Cross this one as well. Lovely. Now there is a guard up here who we are going to have to just run past. There's not much I can do about this situation. Luckily, although they have not very good vision, they're also blind as anything else. Just put that guard 
not there. Go, go, go! There we are. Oh, come on! How slow! Yeesh. I'd say it's the first one of any kind of remote challenge. They do get harder. Right, head for the goal, don't be spotted. Duck and hide where there are low walls. So yes, yeah, so this is introducing your lower walls here. So um, you can't just uh, hide like this, folks. That's not going to work. You need to duck so they don't see you. Right, so how do we want to deal with this situation? Let's just get down here and let the guard come back up. We probably want to go through the middle here. We want to be careful about getting spotted, though. Alright, so if we kind of, like, come in the middle, sort of here-ish, hopefully he won't spot me. Yeah, yes! Beautiful. This is about as far as I got with my practicing. I figured at this point it worked, so I was like, okay. If we can clear this whole, um, this whole mode here, I'd be pretty happy with this. Number nine. Ah, the great cardboard boxes. Even if you are hiding, you will be caught if you move. Which is unfortunate, folks. The great cardboard box. Should we get across here? Lots of cameras. Obviously, we're not going to be able to run past this entire situation. So, the great cardboard box. Beautiful. Luckily, with the use of the cardboard box, we can... Uh, dodge the um, cameras. They'll think, eh, looks standard. Even though there's no business being there, but whatever. So we just got to get past here, mainly looking at the radar. Stop there. I must admit, I can't exactly listen to this, um, this theme music uh, for um, the, for this game mode. Uh, it's, it's hard to listen to it properly, um, because I'm quite an average, as I've mentioned a few times over the course of the channel. Um, I do like my pro wrestling, and it's kind of hard to like listen to this um, sort of seriously, uh, because of, uh, unfortunately, it being used on a couple of occasions in the... Uh, the... Oops. That's what I get for talking, everyone. Damn it. But yeah, the uh, the great Botchamania, um, which is a a fun little thing that's been made of like things that don't necessarily go correctly, um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I can't help but listen to this and not think of uh, not think of that. Um, yeah, good stuff, everyone. For those people who know what I'm talking about, they can appreciate it. <laughs> Look at it that way. I'm in a bit of an awkward spot here. Stop. Ooh, yeah, you see, when you stop, you like you, you move for a second. So you have to kind of like, you have to make sure to stop beforehand. This is actually kind of awkward. This. Uh, that's no good. I'm gonna have to uh, play patient here. I'm in a really shit spot here. I'm on. Should be alright now, I hope. There we are. Beautiful! Impressive. Bit fiddly, but not too bad. Who is that bloody voice? That's the, um, that's the doctor, isn't it? I forget the name. Right, bit of snow over this time, or I suppose holographic snow. Yeah. Anyways, we need to be aware of our footprints on this one because uh, they will chase us down. But we can use the footprints to uh, craftily lead and get rid of these guys. So, just crawl over here. We can fool him by using the circle, I believe it is, to knock on there. If we do that, you'll see the footprints. You should be able to just uh, crawl along, and he's like, huh, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. 
and completely full. Beautiful. Alright, we are gonna trick this guy, but we should be fine. We'll just make a run. I don't know whose footprints these are. Don't look at me. Completely innocent. Number 11. Watch out for the pitfalls and head for the goal. Training exercises aboard if you fall into a booby trap. Ooh, this looks fun. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a load of booby traps over there. We've got more over the far direction. Quite a few guards as well, actually. Could have some fun here, actually. I think there's some... Yeah, all those sl inslets there are fine. They're safe. You'll be quick with those, because those do not give you much time. Or air leeway or anything, folks. They are super dangerous. Right, what do we want to do here? Where is safe? I think I'm just going to have to make a run here. Go! Run! Run! How did he not see me? I have no idea. I'll take it. Result. Right. I don't think the guard. Well, you do know at least that the guards can't walk on the booby traps because obviously they'd set them off as well. So that's good at least. So we need to get to this left side. find a spot to do this at, because I've got this guard on the right as well, it's kind of annoying. Might be able, might go here, actually. Go! Oh, piss! Mission mailed! It's a, bit of a tr it's a bit of an awkward spot, though, isn't it? Yeah. I know there's that little gap by the booby trap, but again, you get so little time on the booby trap. Like, if you hesitate at all, you're pretty screwed. Ooh, I nearly, I nearly lost it there as well. That was bad. Right, if we just go. Oh, shit. Shit. Ooh. That seems to be the way to go. Run! Yeah, alright. A bit of speed there seems to do the trick. Pretty good. Alright, level 12. Uh, lure the enemy and head for the wall. Knock on the wall to... The, yeah, obviously we did this earlier, but we're, seemingly we're going to have to do it this time. He's not going to move, is he? Nope. Who's, Who's there? Nobody. Good joke. <laughs> Anyways. Huh. Well, I think it's fair to say that this guard is, um, he's doing his job well. I'll give him that. Oh, I slipped off the, uh, I slipped off the, um, oh, you idiot. Good job, Shadow. Great job. Can't believe I just did that. Right. Do this again. What was that noise? It was your imagination, sir. Hmm. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Try not to be an idiot. Right, we might have to do this twice. There we go. Do it a second time. You can't just do it in the mid. Oh, you can do it in the middle. Be a bit weird there. I was trying to press circle, it was like, it didn't want to hit the wall. Whatever. He's successfully been lured away. Searchlights! Fantastic. End guards? Mm, that looks fun. Alright, a couple of spotlights. Guard feeling like I did this morning. Is that guard just going to stand there the whole time? No. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's gonna come down the left. It's gonna be ugly. Oh, shit. Yeah, she is as well. <sighs> Trying to find a spot to go here. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. So glad he's blind. I might need to lure this guy. Don't see me! Don't see me! Don't see me! Don't see me! Yes, he fuck He turned the other way. Thank goodness for that. I had to go. He just turned the other way. He did. Good. The enemy security is reinforced, is it? Ooh, hello. Oh, bloody, that's five of them? Oh, great. This looks fun. Alright, okay. So, the guy in the centre just stands and just keeps turning around. The guy at the top could be a problem. And there's only knee-high walls in the middle there. Uh, this could be ugly. This guy at the bottom, does he only just go to the right here? And then back to that spot? Oh, he does go to the left. Great. Right, so what do we want to do here? We have to go on these outsides, so... They have half a plan. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. Right, let's go. So if we pop up here. Oh, shit. He's gonna come. Oh no, the guard's gonna come back down. Oh fuck. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I could get away with that. The guard kind of came back there on his on his own. I was gonna try and like basically follow the guard up the outside and hope to get away with it. That was too slow. No, I can't go now. <sighs> Gotta go this way. Ooh. Don't see me. Come on, before this guard turns around, please, in the center. <sighs> Shit now. Oh god! Oh that was bit stupid. <sighs> Seems to be the way to go. Urgh, that's a bit... That is a... Um, that is pesky at best. I think that's the way to go, though, around the outside. Seems to be the way forward. Right. Let's go. I should have gone. I should have gone. I left it too late now. Yeah, he's gonna come down. Oh, piss. Yeah, I got stuck there. Damn it. I can't remember just be playing Fallout and just get a stealth boy. It'd be so much easier. Alright, let's try this again, but let's not hesitate this time, Shadow, eh? Oh my goodness me, that was a ridiculous risk I just took. Oh shit. I don't think the guy in the center can see me from here somehow. Uh, gotta do this before the guy turns up. Go, 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 go. There's like a really small window of opportunity there. But somehow the guy in the centre can't actually see me. Which is fine with me. I have no problems with this. Use what you have learned in the training and head for the goal. This is an integrated training exercise. Ah, yes, I see. So we got searchlights, cameras, all sorts of fun. Okay. Does appear to be a uh, little shoot there. I might be able to use it, actually. Might be easier than dealing with cameras and guard and spotlights. I can bypass all of them. Let's go with that, folks. Going on an adventure. 
I know, look at it. So date 1999, look at those graphics, OMG. <laughs> Good times. We're not going that way. This is a pretty big shoot, you know, um, Snake. I'm pretty sure we could just, like, crouch through here. We don't need to be on all bloody fours, but... Now bear in mind, of course, when we are crouching, we can't use the radar for whatever reason. Oh no, 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 back, 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 back. We need to kind of like you make use of that and uh, get there. Let's go. Go. Oof. We should just be able to. Damn spot! Really spotlight? You gonna do that? You troll! Woo! Look at me! I'm on top of the world! All oh, right, let's actually finish the mission, I suppose. Oh god! How did he not see me? <laughs> I'm trying to lose this. Yeah. Well done, Snake. You, Snake. you just defied gravity. Congratulations. So yeah, a little bit of a introduction into the basics of sneaking. And once we've completed the practice version of a mode, I believe we are then allowed to take it on on time attacking, which is cool, I guess. But we're not going to be doing that. I figure we're going to have a little uh, play around with the SOCOM before we time attack anything. Oh my god, look at it! So real! It's a cool gun.